So far, we've seen what music therapy is and how it works for motor skills and communication. But is it possible that this therapeutic tool can do more than just that? Many scientists are doing studies on groups of patients, giving them music therapy and then testing for clinical improvements. They're trying to find out which mental illnesses get improved, which ones not so much, in what ways, in the short or long term, should patients listen to the music or play it? Should they learn individually or in a group? Use pop or relaxing music? So many things to consider. Here's a study I found interesting. This paper tells the story of 42 Alzheimer's patients who are given music therapy for six weeks. For reference, Alzheimer's is a disease where dementia symptoms, decline of memory, disorientation, confusion, behavioral changes, worsen over time. These 42 patients were given standardized psychological exams before and after the classes. And what do you know? In moderate Alzheimer's cases, the patients had less delusions, hallucinations, irritability, anxiety, and depression after the classes. Because of this, they didn't need to be prescribed so many behavior-modifying drugs. These drugs sometimes have side effects, so doctors like to avoid them if possible. Also, the scientists noticed that when patients heard familiar songs, their memory improved. The leaders of the study think that it's because your brain stores musical memories different than your normal memories. But this is still to be proven. Every question answered, study done, opens up new doors, new research just waiting to happen. Many studies like this have been done around the world. Judging on what the scientific community has tested so far, Music therapy works pretty well on patients with diagnosed depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, cardiovascular risk, the general stress that patients face when they go to the hospital, along with all the other applications that we've discovered in the last videos. Music therapy is, of course, no miracle drug. It may work for some, but not for others. However, given its availability, low cost, and documented success rate, I think it's worth trying out. Throughout history, humans have been fascinated by music. Why would a series of sounds suddenly make my sad day feel a bit better? As doors of research start to open, we can better understand the why of music, the how of music, and most importantly, how we can help people. Thank you for listening to this educational short series. In each video, I reference my sources in the description below. If you're curious in learning for yourself the influence of playing music, there are some short piano tutorials on my channel for songs like Piano Man, Our Last Summer, and Zombie. Feel free to check them out. Goodbye!